Hello everybody and welcome to this Snappied review and today I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know about Snappied. Before the video starts, if you do have any questions, please leave them in the comments section down below and as well as that, I will be leaving a discounted link in the description so that you can always get your money's worth for Snappied. So Snappied is a full feature branding creator where you can create your own graphic design for your website, company, whatever you want very, very easily. And I'm going to be giving you a very quick rundown of how this website works. So once you've created your account, you're greeted with this homepage here. As you can see, you have all of these different tabs for your templates, along with your different sections for designs and help and all of your different files and images. You can search thousands of free templates in this box. For the sake of this video, we're going to be clicking create a new design and going with the custom size that it's already given us which is 1080 by 1080 and hitting create. Now that we're in we're going to be looking for one of these templates that is not premium locked. So by scrolling down you have a lot of different ones but we're going to go for this one here which is 30 minute morning yoga. By hitting this we're able to simply import it to our image. Now as you can see here it is and as this is a 1920 by 1080 image it will resize it for us very very nicely um, and then as soon as it's imported we're able to move all of the uh, sort of aspects of it around. So you obviously have the option to change the width, height and angle of each asset that you've got selected. You can also select the font of the text, size and all the typical font adjustments that you would have in any editing software. On the right, you also have the option to copy style. You can do a color picker, bordering, shadows, transparency, positions, aligning it to the page, flipping it horizontally. You can duplicate an object. You can also lock an object in place or completely delete it. Once you've selected it from the templates tab, we can go down to images. Now we're not going to import any, but this basically allows you to import any of the images that they already have on their page via either Pexels provision or by Unsplash's provision. All you would need to do is click on whichever one you want and it will immediately appear in front of you. Going to text, you're also able to add headlines, subheadlines, and body text, along with a vast array of different fonts, styles, etc., of different things that you might want on your page. Just like last time, all you need to do is hit the click button, and as soon as you've done that, it will import onto your image. Images also have the same option at the top, and at the bottom, you can centralize the image by clicking the centralize button, and this will make the entire thing in the middle. You can also resize it to any of these and even define your own size, along with adding a grid to make your own sort of design and putting aspects of it in different places a lot easier. You also have a layers tab in the bottom right and a pages tab. Pages allows you to view all of the pages of your design and the layers tab allows you to do each asset and then move it to different areas on the image so that you can have things above one another, beneath one another. And if something isn't in place where you want it to be, this is where you would edit it. Now under quotes, you can also import different quotes from different people. Now this again, we're not going to add, but it's a very simple click and it will go to any way you want simply by clicking and dragging once it's been imported. This also has the option to change the width and height along with all of the image effects, blending colors and image crops. Now heading to illustrations, this is a large amount. This is provided by Pixabay and you can also have 3D ones with icon A or you can just have the popular ones that are inbuilt to Snappy. As you can see, you have all of these and these are really, really good for commercial uses if you want a website to have very simple, minimalistic demonstrations of things or whatever you really would need these for. Elements is our shapes tab. This has shapes, icons, almost emojis of sorts. Um, you can have squares in many different colors. You can also have stars. You can have lines, arrows, whatever that takes your fancy. You could put text in them. You can essentially do whatever you want with these. And this is a really, really handy tab to be able to use. You've also got the option to add your own branding. This is essentially a watermark that will appear. And as you can see, Hello Test is top right. And by hitting apply branding, it will be added. Under the palette section, you can change the actual palette uh, color palette of your page. So any text that you have on there that you've imported yourself or have sort of adjusted the color of, this is what the heading color will be. It will change the background color. It will change the subheading color and also the body text color. So not everything will be changed. As you can see, this is a already solidified image in the background here so this won't change but what you would need to do is have your own solid background color and this would change these along with all of the other aspects that I just mentioned. 
In the backgrounds tab, you're also able to add a background. Now, the only thing with backgrounds is once you've imported them and go to the layers tab, these will be stuck to the background. You cannot move these above anything else. As you can see, it will automatically go to the bottom. However, if we delete this image here, we are left with the regular background we had originally. Under mockups, you're also able to see what your page would look like on different devices. As you can see, you have a plethora, mobile phones, desktop computers, laptops, smartwatches, posters, billboards, tablets, iPad, Facebook portal, and picture frames. And this is really useful to get an idea of what yours would look like in the commercial world and make sure that it's exactly how you like before you publicly publish it. And then finally, under the My Files tab, you're able to upload your own custom files to use instead of having to use the ones that are available to you alone. That is about it for the design section. We're going to quickly go ahead and run through all of these at the top. So beginning with, we have the home page, which takes you immediately back to the original page that we started at. You obviously hit yes, I am sure. And here we are. Under templates, this is where you can view all of your templates for your pictures, um, but it's in a really nice seamless way and doesn't have any clutter anywhere. So you can quickly filter through either social medias, banners and headers, presentations, ads, or marketing materials. And you can view your templates in this tab here. If you go to the My Designs tab, but you're also able to view all of the designs that you've created. As you can see here are the two that I've already done. You can also hit the get my designs button, shared with me, or even archive designs. My files lets you view all of the files that you yourself have imported. All you need to do is go to the editor and favorite them to get to them into my favorites, or you can go to my files, upload them, and these will go into the home folder. Pricing obviously tells you the price of the pro subscription, and under tools, you have the option to split an image, remove its background, add quotes, add a social media calendar, or even convert an image in bulk. And then under help, you can either become an affiliate, you can have chat support, and you can also view a roadmap of many things that they want to do in the future alongside their blog page. And then at the top right, we have the option to upgrade. You can view your personal designs yourself or also start a design. And that basically concludes Snappied. So now it begs the question, would I recommend Snappied and why? Now, Snappied, I definitely would recommend. I think that its amount of templates is vast. There are basically an infinite amount of things that you can create with this. Um, my one downside would be there are a lot of the designs are locked through a paywall, but if you're happy to pay that, and this is a brilliant website and it will not let you down. Features of this website are great. It's got a very intuitive feel. The fact that if you've already had experience with, say, Photoshop or something like that, you can instantly pick this up and become incredibly fluent in it and I really really like that so yes I would recommend it. And that concludes my review of Snappy. Thank you very much and I will see you next time. Goodbye.